try. No, I loved it so much. <laughs> you know, it takes a village. We say this all the time, right? And it takes a village to come together to protect our kids, to raise our kids' rights. So glad to see, like you said, Beth, and the community coming together. This morning, many communities waking up to a very rumbly start to the day, to this Thursday, as thunderstorms are crossing across the Great Lakes this morning. We got some pretty intense rainfall, mostly south of the border, but even further north, Sault Ste. Marie, all the way along the northeastern side of uh, Lake Superior, and then just beginning to cross over Lake Huron. We've got these storms. So keep that in mind. That's pretty indicative of the unsettled forecast today in Ontario. So we'll follow these storms. They sweep their way across the province and they're pretty scattered. By no means cancel your plans. Uh, keep uh, continuing on with what you're doing today. Just bring along an umbrella and know that not only do the storms and the precipitation moving in mean that you could get rained on, but it's also contributing to the humidity. So in many communities across Ontario today, it's quite muggy. Now, for Quebec, this is the outlook as we head into tonight. You see those storms just beginning to creep in. We slide into early Friday morning, so overnight tonight, and we begin to see the remnants of tropical storm Cindy as it moves its way further north and weakens. We get all of this moisture that begins to push up into southern Ontario. That then fuels a rather unsettled day on Friday afternoon. Look at this widespread precipitation all the way from Manitoba across Ontario through southern Ontario, Quebec, and even into Atlantic Canada. We've got scattered showers and storms. So you've heard me say it so many times this spring, unsettled weather continues right as we head into the end of our work week. Now early Saturday morning, that wettest weather will move its way in towards the maritime provinces and then up towards Newfoundland and Labrador as well. And that's where we get some pretty heavy pockets of rain. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a thunderstorm in Nova Scotia. Midday Saturday, most of the rainfall is up towards Newfoundland, Labrador, in through central Quebec, with a few showers, possible thunderstorms in southern Ontario as well. Generally, Saturday looks pretty good. There's just that risk in southern Ontario of some active weather. It's Saturday evening where we see more of those storms developing across the same place that we've seen over the past few days through uh, portions of southern Ontario and in through Quebec and then Nova Scotia as well. So next couple of days, a little bit unsettled. Today, here's the temperature outlook in Ontario. Again, it's a little bit muggy this afternoon. It's going to feel warmer because of that humidity. Plus, we've got the risk of unsettled weather. All of this precipitation you see, these are the storms forecasted to move through in the day. Now, for Quebec, generally today, it's quite sunny. But tonight, that's when you've got a risk of storms. But nice temperatures. I mean, 25 today in Montreal, not bad at all. And for Atlantic Canada, again, pretty nice, save for Labrador, a bit cooler there. But the maritime province is looking pretty good. Risk of showers and thunderstorms possible in portions of Newfoundland. Otherwise, enjoy temperatures in the high teens, low 20s. Now, here's a look at your local forecast across the country. On a shopping bag that you put that your you clothes put, in. You put right. Stuff you buy. Yeah. If I want a leather bag, I'll get a bag that looks like a leather bag and not a leather version of a shopping bag. It does look like paper. Part of me like thinks paper. that the designers of these things are, are creating these things and wondering what they can get away with. Right? <laughs> and guess what? They're getting yeah. away with yeah. it. Yeah. That's well, because wild. Uh, like, at least parents, I like it. They, yeah. <laughs> the young ones are on Snapchat, which means I'll be able to find them. That's they right. need to keep iterating. They keep innovating because uh, Facebook and... and um, Instagram have proven that they have no problem copying everything that Snapchat yeah, is doing true. in order to dominate that market. <laughs> and and the, the stock price bears it out. Snapchat, Snap itself is, is, is in a little bit of trouble and they need... They need tropical storm, Cindy, there it is this morning and you can see the center of the storm uh, right over uh, the Texas border there. Now in terms of track, it's going to move its way northward and as it does, it will rapid, uh, rapidly weaken because as it moves its way over land, it loses all its fuel. The fuel is the warmer waters of uh, the Gulf of Mexico. So quickly, uh, later on today, it will become a tropical depression, then a post-tropical low. Then this is going to merge with a frontal system moving its way across the U.S. And it actually has an impact on the Canadian forecast as well, just driving the moisture in through Friday, Saturday, and possibly Sunday as well. So it is going to be a wetter end to the work week for many communities, really Ontario eastward. Today, we're already seeing that moisture move across the Great Lakes, but we'll start first on the East Coast, where for the second day in a row, we have dense fall advisories for a number of communities, all areas in the gray, including the southern portion of the Avalon Peninsula. Now in the Avalon Peninsula, the fog is likely to persist most of today and then redevelop in anywhere it does dissipate tonight and then persist for tomorrow morning as well. Areas further inland will see the fog uh, lessen as the day progresses, but right along the coast you can expect it to stay quite uh, foggy today. So in terms of your daytime highs, I mean St. John's, you've got that cloud. You're not under the fog advisory, but you're still dealing with the moisture in the air. Uh, 
Uh, we also have the risk of thunderstorm or showers in the rest of Newfoundland and Labrador, but the Maritimes look really good today. This is a mild forecast and even winds look to be fairly light. It's not as warm as it was earlier in the week, but it's still pretty good. And in fact, some of the nicest temperatures in eastern Canada. Quebec today looks pretty good until tonight. And that's when showers are likely to move in, along with the risk of thunderstorm, particularly through the southern communities. Now, a little bit further north, you can anticipate those showers possibly as early as about 3 p.m., but otherwise into the evening, uh, sometime after the supper hour from Montreal and Sherbrooke. And then for Ontario today, just bring along your umbrella. Know that it will be quite humid through the day today because of the the moisture already moving across the Great Lakes, but there's that risk of showers, possible thunderstorms as well, not only during the day today, but then again tonight. So Ottawa, again tonight, you've got the risk of thunderstorms, 25, 26 in Toronto, could feel closer to 30 with that humidity, with thunderstorms persisting all the way uh, westward towards Sault Ste. Marie. Thunder Bay, you kind of skip all the action, 26 degrees for today. Now I mentioned it's going to be a wetter end to the work week. Here's a look at those rainfall totals, and you can see Barrie, you kind of get the worst of it over the next couple of days your weekend close to about 50 millimeters of rain and that's because of this uh, system as I mentioned moving its way across the Great Lakes combining with the moisture from tropical storm Cindy is it good morning Ben uh, not necessarily in Canada south of the border sure lots of hot days uh, but here it, it, temperatures have been cool there are some exceptions though and it really it's as we head over to Atlantic Canada Halifax today 25 26 in Fredericton it's a little sad, though, when it's June 22nd and we're excited about 25 degrees. But it's okay. We'll go with it. Uh, temperatures have been cool right across the country, and we know that. Today, St. John's getting up to 19. Uh, heads up, there is a risk of showers, possible thunderstorms through Cornerbrook, all the way eastward towards Gander as well. Generally today, lots of sun in Quebec, so enjoy it because wetter weather is moving in tonight. You've got some showers on deck later on this afternoon through central Quebec and in through the south this evening. Showers and thunderstorms. That's what's moving across the Great Lakes this morning. And it's just kind of round one. Round two comes as we head into this evening as well. So know that generally right across southern Ontario, it's a bit unsettled. It's muggy as well, but still warm. 26 in Toronto, feeling closer to 30. Winds are getting up to 33 degrees today. Sault Ste. Marie already dealing with thunderstorms this morning. Now, uh, Thunder Bay, you'll stay drier, but the wetter weather takes over as we head to Winnipeg, 21 degrees. Now, you'll notice a big temperature drop from Manitoba as we head over to Saskatchewan. Uh, Winnipeg in the 20s, but Brandon, you slide down into the high teens, 14 today in Saskatoon. So no t-shirt tucks for you. 14 in Regina, 16 for Calgary. Rain across the prairies. Into BC, that sunshine returns. In fact, it's so warm, you can hardly see the sun on our map. 20 degrees today in Vancouver, and it is just up and up from here, with temperature rising into the mid-20s by the time the BC coast heads into the weekend. Canada, that's a look at your Thursday forecast. Now we'll send it back over to Ben. That wet weather does continue in the prairies. We'll get there in just a second. Hey, Eastern Canada, we have something to write home about. Current temperatures are some of the prairies daytime highs today. So we know it's going to be warmest in the country in the east. Uh, right now, though, we are seeing some wet weather moving across the Great Lakes. But east of that, look at that clear sky basically all the way towards the Atlantic. There is fog to be concerned about for portions of Newfoundland, though. Keep that in mind. Dense fog advisories in the same areas as yesterday and that fog persists for much of the day today. But across the Great Lakes, thunderstorms have meant a rumbly start to the day for many communities. That continues on and off through today, then combines with some of the leftover moisture from tropical storm Cindy as it moves its way northward and weakens. That really signals the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday forecast for portions of eastern Canada. Now in the west, Manitoba, you're looking pretty good. There is the risk of some showers and thunderstorms right across the south today. But in through uh, the Yellowhead all the way into Alberta, Saskatoon, tune westward uh, west of Edmonton you see that wet weather as it moves its way southward cold air moves its way in and temperatures peak in uh, the teens today 14 today in Saskatoon now BC whole different story look at that as we zoom out nothing is on deck so sunshine continues not just in BC uh, but really south of the border as well where we know the temperature has been scorching today and into your weekend enjoy very warm temperatures right through Vancouver and Vancouver Island now here's a look at your local uh, the Gulf of Mexico and a widespread impact through Texas, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, up towards Tennessee, even northern Georgia.
Georgia, seeing these bands of heavy rain. The difference between this and a hurricane, obviously it's a weaker version. A tropical storm can evolve into a hurricane. Not this guy, though, because as Cindy moved its way on shore, now it begins to weaken from this point on. So in terms of track, you'll see it sweep its way to the northeast. Later on today, it will likely be downgraded to a tropical depression. But even with that, we're still seeing these significant bands of rain. The heaviest rainfall will for sure be in eastern Texas, heading into Louisiana. That's where some communities are approaching over 100 millimeters of rain. Not only that, we're talking high winds, possible tornadoes with embedded thunderstorms as well. This then moves its way further north and actually has an impact on the Canadian forecast. Coming up after the rest of your news, I'll detail the breakdown of how that actually impacts us here on our side of the border. Back to you. Passive aggressive, but also helping nature. So nature loves that one. I uh, mentioned the rainfall that's moving its way up from tropical storm Cindy and the remnants of it as we head into the extended forecast. Here's how that breaks down. Ontario will see kind of scattered thunderstorm shower activity through the day today. If you got sunshine, enjoy it. Soak it up. Heading into uh, Friday, the early morning hours, we start to see this moisture push its way northward. And this is funneling up from the Gulf of Mexico. This really enters into a frontal area, a frontal system that pushes its way across across the east and it means more steady rainfall as we head through Friday again with that embedded thunderstorm risk across Ontario in through southern Quebec but this time adding in the Maritimes as well. Now as we head through Friday evening into Saturday morning Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island and really Newfoundland and Labrador you start to get the brunt of that precipitation. That continues Saturday as well but in behind that you see again more thunderstorm activity mid-afternoon right across central Quebec and then portions of southern Ontario there's also that at risk for uh, mid-afternoon Saturday that continues again through Saturday evening. So there is some wet weather ahead. It's a little bit unsettled in the east. Across Canada for today, uh, you can see that our warmest temperatures really are in the maritime provinces. 26 today in Fredericton, 25 in Halifax, and sunny. Sunshine continues in Quebec, but as I mentioned, those thunderstorms moving their way in, crossing the Great Lakes this morning. Still sizzly, though, in Windsor. 33 degrees today, 21 in Sault Ste. Marie with early morning thunderstorms, 26 in Thunder Bay, lots of sun there. Wetter weather takes over as we head into Manitoba, 21 today in Winnipeg. Look at these temperatures in Saskatchewan and Alberta. I mean, we went from the 20s with very wicked winds over the last couple of days to much wetter weather today. 14 in Saskatoon, 13 in Regina with rain, uh, rain in Edmonton for Calgary as well, a few showers. And then sunshine returns as we head over to the BC coast. I mean, this isn't the end of it. Normally we're talking rain in Vancouver. Not the case as we head into the weekend with temperature in Vancouver. Vancouver rising into the mid to high 20s, 20 degrees today. That's a look across Canada this morning. Now we'll send it back to bed. Great line winds, so winds coming ahead of a thunderstorm in advance of the precipitation and behind it. And it was so strong that you could actually see the wind on the radar picture because it picks up dirt and debris and it pushes it further south and it looks like a very well-defined line and it swept right across Alberta. It was just incredible. The winds then moved into Saskatchewan yesterday uh, and still continuing to be quite breezy, though it's a lot cooler in the West, even this morning. Single digit temperatures in Calgary and Saskatoon. Now, if you look at the East, I mean, these are the current temperatures, but those are actually Western Canada's daytime highs. In fact, some areas are already warmer this morning in the East. But there is wetter weather moving its way across the Great Lakes. Heads up, Ontario. You've got a bit of an unsettled day uh, everywhere except the Northwest. In the Northwest, it's quite sunny. Sunny today in Quebec, and then sunny for most of Atlantic Canada, save for a widespread area right along the Newfoundland land coast that's under a dense fog advisory for the second day in a row this will likely persist for tomorrow morning as well now where the sun is shining today well it won't be tomorrow as we see wet weather moving its way across ontario and quebec here's the rainfall projection over the next couple of days taking you through the weekend it's not a lot of rain spread over three days but it's enough that outdoor plans you'll just want to have an umbrella handy just in case uh, so you don't get a downpour now over to the west and we're seeing some showers in uh, manitoba heavier rain from Saskatoon all the way towards Red Deer and that's ushering in cooler air. So you want the sunshine in the west? Just head over to BC. That's where we're seeing clear sky and nothing ahead of us. Uh, so sunshine will continue right into the weekend. Canada, that is your Thursday forecast. Now here's a look at your local weather conditions.